up YouTube and welcome back to my channel. My name's Lynette, I'm a personal trainer and I do videos about all things fitness, nutrition, health, wellness, and activewear reviews, which is what we're doing today. Now let's just get one thing straight. I'm sweaty. My makeup is crazy. I was not expecting to film today, but all this stuff came in and so I had to film today. Um, I chopped jalapenos with my bare hands and then I touched this eye. So like, if over the course of this video, tears just start coming down or it swells up into like some giant red eye, that's just what happens. But the show must go on. Also, I tried this thing where I did eyelashes without eyeliner. I don't know about that. But I don't wanna redo my makeup. You know, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go with it. So today's activewear review video is going to be on the new Buff Bunny Summer Launch. I think that's what they're calling it. Now, this ain't my first rodeo. This ain't even the first time I have reviewed Buff Bunny activewear. I reviewed her line about a year and a half ago. You can watch that on my channel to see what I thought of her line initially. But spoiler alert, I didn't love it. I thought it was cute, but I didn't love it. But she has some new stuff. She's had a year and a half to kind of like change up a lot of her stuff, I think. I don't know. This video is unsponsored. They didn't send me any of this stuff I just like set my alarm when launch happened because that's what you got to do to catch all the good stuff and when they set this stuff live I just bought it on my phone and here it is now Heidi Summers which is the owner of Buff Bunny she's done a lot to have a lot of different sized women model her clothing which is awesome I wish more activewear companies would not only use models that are more average size to like your average woman but she also actually has larger sizes goes up to I think a double XL I want to say which I feel like that in and of itself is already like we're heading in the right direction since a lot of these activewear companies are just like teeny tiny little activewear pieces and I am not teeny tiny if you're new here then you may not know this I'm a personal trainer so I do work out I am what I consider in shape I am definitely more of like I would say an average build of a person I'm definitely not a size two I'm definitely not super teeny tiny super fit super ripped I hate even putting terms on average or normal or whatever because nobody's normal there's no normal size but I'll say this I am typically a size six eight in Lululemon I'm always an eight my waist is usually around 28 to 29 inches my hips I think are around 30 38 inches, 39 inches, maybe more lately. I'm five foot six. I'm around 150, 152 pounds, something like that. So I'm not super small. I'm not super tiny. I'm not super petite. And I feel like it's good to have someone who is not super tiny give a solid review of these clothing pieces because I feel like a lot of the videos that are out are of Buff Bunny athletes who are, I think, typically pretty petite. Whatever. You guys know why you're here. I know why you're here. Let's get onto the clothes because that's what you want to see. Okay, so first things first, I got three different sets. The Cross My Heart set, the Rosé set, and the Spicy, the Hawaiian set. I didn't get every single thing that she released. I think the Rosé is not also not new, but I just decided to order some pieces. I haven't tried Buff Bunny in like a year and a half. So... Here we go. So I really like the packaging that this came in. It came in this like sleek, white, clearish packaging. What do they call it? Frosted packaging? I don't know. Packaging doesn't ultimately matter that much, but it's always a nice touch. The first thing that I'm gonna show you guys is the rose set. Now, as the proud owner of some cellulite on my butt and my thighs, I definitely don't always go for white leggings. And by don't always, I mean, absolutely never. White leggings just show every single bump, dimple, whatever on your lower body. But because this has some like, uh, here's the bra, has some like gold flecks on it, I felt like maybe this would be a little bit better at hiding cellulite. And I was right. So first things first, this is a full length legging in a very soft, stretchy material, but definitely with some compression. There is no band in the waistband, which is, if you're not new here, you know how I like my leggings with no elastic band at the top of the waist because that elastic band for me tends to cut into my sides and give kind of like a little like mini muffin top situation. We don't love that. So when they have a seamless waistband like this, it does not cut into as much. It just has a smoother appearance. I love that. All of the leggings that I got today have this seamless waistband top. That was actually one of my critiques on her last line that I reviewed a year and a half ago. But yeah, so I like these. The material is like if the Lululemon aligns and Lululemon Luxe Stream fabric had a baby and they gave it to Buff Bunny. That's what this feels like. It has compression to it. It has structure, but it's not it's not super thick, very comfortable, um, very honestly thin, like to the point where you can see like 
in some of the footage like my hip bones and like a little bit of like a lower tummy pooch that kind of shows through but I feel like that just showed up that way in the camera I feel like when I'm looking in the mirror I don't really see it that much I also when I'm looking in the mirror don't seem to detect a lot of cellulite or a lot of visible cellulite in the video footage you will see a little bit but I feel like it's really not that bad and girls embrace your cellulite we all have it literally all of us have it literally all of us. So I really like this set. I feel like it fits well. The bra is very comfortable. I like the shape of it. I feel like it has just enough interest in the back to be fun but without being like too over the top or too elaborate. It has good coverage. I got both of these pieces in a size large just to be safe. I feel like I got a lot of her pieces in a medium last time and I felt like they were all just like a little snug so I got a large to be safe. I feel like they're a perfect fit. I really don't have any complaints about the white set. The only thing I'll say is that it's dead definitely not squat proof. I mean, it's a white fabric. What do you expect? I personally don't care if stuff is squat proof. Like I just don't, I don't care, <laughs> but I know a lot of you guys care. So if that is a deal breaker for you, these are not for you, but Honestly, I dig them. I'm I'm very happily surprised with how these fit. The next set I'm gonna show you guys is the Cross My Heart set. In the Cross My Heart set, I got both pieces in a large. Again, just wanted to play it safe. Um, I got it in red. I feel like they had other colors, but you know, I don't have any red leggings, so I went for it. This is a full length legging. The side has this sheer little section that is somewhat sheer. It like kind of shows through, but it doesn't really look sheer on your leg, but it has these little crisscrossing pieces of fabric. I don't know. Same with the way Waistband, it's a seamless waistband. Now the red leggings and these white leggings feel different in the fabric. They feel different, which is weird because they're both 73% polyester, 27% spandex. But if you guys saw in the white ones, these kind of hug my hips like well, like they just kind of go straight smoothly with my stomach. Whereas these red ones, maybe they're just tighter around the waist, but these kind of give me a little bit of a muffin top situation. They just feel a little bit like the waistband has a lot of compression to it. I can't even say that I should size up on these because if I did, they would literally be hiked up to my bra. That is one thing I'll say about this red cross my heart pair is that it seemed taller, like it came up higher than the white pair or the other pair I'm going to show you. So if you have a long torso, that may not be a problem. I have kind of a slightly shorter to average size torso or average length torso. So I feel like this kind of gave me like long mom butt in the back, but it is cool that they have like this little line at the bottom of the butt. I don't know. I feel like that kind of adds some sort of flattering touch to it. And again, a super amazing fabric. It feels, it doesn't feel identical to the other ones, but it does feel very similar. Again, like the Lululemon Aligns and Lululemon Luxstream fabric had a baby. If you don't know what that feels like, it's basically very buttery smooth but with compression, um, but thin, if any of that makes sense. It's cool that the top matches. I like the way this looks in the front. I like that visual interest of the crisscrossy stuff in the front and the mesh that is also kind of see-through. I feel like that's a little sexy. The back is very full coverage, which I used to not like. I used to want my sports bras in the back to have a lot more like cool stuff going on, but this is actually nice for anyone who has any kind of like back fat where like you have a little bit of body fat that kind of hangs out over the side of sports bras just from being a human with body fat. A bra like this is going to completely control that. You're not gonna have that issue at all. It's gonna be very smooth, which is nice when you're wearing sports bras under like a smooth fabric shirt. So I'm not mad about that. The band on the sports bra is a little bit tight. I don't love that. As you can see in the video footage, that kind of digs into me too. So this red set in general, just kind of digs into me at my rib cage and at my waist. However, I do carry a little bit of fat in my midsection, so that could just be the fact that I have a body that does that. I can't necessarily say it, it's completely the fault of the clothing. I would like to see this set, this cross my heart set on other influencers who are maybe like um, like a size 10 or a size 12, someone who's built just a little bit bigger than me to see if that issue is a problem for them. Like it cutting into the waist on the sports bra on the leggings, I don't know. I do like it otherwise, the color is nice, and those seem to be squat proof for me. I didn't do like a whole bunch of testing, but the fabric seems squat proof to me. I saved the best for last. This Hawaiian set, which look at this color, is so beautiful. This was the first set that I tried on and I was just like, now this is 70% nylon, 30% spandex. So it's gonna be a completely different fabric than the other two. But this, oh my gosh, oh my God. Okay, I don't wanna get foundation on it, but like it's so good. So buttery soft, very like a bit more flexible. Again, it's like, it's like if the Lululemon, 
It's like if the Lululemon Aligns and the Luxe Dream had a baby, but it resembled the Aligns more. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're gonna go with. That's what these are like. Seamless waistband, very just plain simple legging. It's a very just like, actually kind of resembles Lululemon Aligns, but this is a cropped length, full on capri length, not like seventh, eighth, seven eighth or anything. Full on crop, which I normally don't get leggings in this length anymore, but I was so drawn to this color. I just had to get this in this color and I actually really like it for summer. Um, and the crop length is not bad, but anyway, does it show a little bit of cellulite? Yeah, but you know, like I have cellulite. What are you gonna do? <laughs> it fits so well. Well, in this set, I got a medium in the sports bra just because I saw on the website they had a little note saying that if you're in between sizes, which I, I feel like I am for most sports bras, to go down a size, and I'm glad I did because the medium fits perfectly. Now, I have a serious sunburn on my chest and it's very crazy looking, so be kind about how this bra looks on me, but honestly, it's very sexy without without being over the top, I think. It's so comfortable, holy smokes. I love it so much. I think it's very flattering. It definitely does not seem to create any kind of back fat issue. If I was going to give one gripe about this bra, it's that the straps, um, as you can see, don't have anything to make them longer or shorter, so you're basically just hoping that this fits you perfectly as is. For me, it seems to, but I can easily see how the straps could be too long or too short in a bra like this. So I guess buy at your own risk. But other than that, I really like this bra. Do I see myself reasonably wearing a bra with this much cleavage showing by itself? No, but it's so comfortable and I love the color. And the bottoms, literally, if these were in black and were like a 7 8 length, they'd probably become my number one favorite legging. I'm just gonna call it now. They're so comfortable so very comfortable so i feel like this review sounded super duper positive it actually really is positive i'm very impressed with the quality of these products they definitely feel a step up from the quality of the products that i got when i ordered from buff bunny a year and a half ago i definitely think that she's taken the time to hear feedback from customers change the fabric to be just a little bit more what people want which i think a lot of people want that like buttery fabric feel but with some compression and support so that's cool like i said i don't love the red set it feels nice i feel like it could fit the right person but didn't work for me in my body i also will say that i feel like some of these leggings give me a little bit of like long butt you know what i mean where like your butt just looks long and that can happen when the waistband like this in the back when it starts kind of high this one has a pretty dropped seam across so this one i don't think i have a, a long butt issue but i think with the white ones i kind of do and then the red ones i feel like i really had a long butt issue especially since they were so waistband itself was just so long like it just went up so high on me so doesn't always look super flattering on me can work for other people it could be that i don't have like the largest glutes to fill out those pants so maybe if you have bigger butt than me it might look better just wasn't amazing on me i feel like i'm probably gonna return the red set and probably keep the other two sets even though this is like the loudest most ridiculous this color and I just like don't wear stuff like this at the gym anymore. I'll probably wear it at home just to be cute. You know what I'm saying? If there's any pieces left or if she does another launch, I would pay attention to little details like the length of the waistband or if the bras are like adjustable or not. But honestly, nice fabric, good quality. I mean, I can't say it's going to hold up forever. I just got these pieces today, but seem like nice quality and they're cute. And I always love to support a brand who actually has sizes bigger than a size large and can actually fit a variety of women, not just your average Instagram fitness person who's a size four. Like, love you, size four Instagram girl. But I need clothes for more than just you. So that's all I've got to say about this. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new to this channel and you liked me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out. Don't know how, but apparently it does. And that's all I've got for you guys. I'm gonna go tend to this eye now because I feel like it's gonna fall out of my head because I touched it with jalapeno juice, remember? Yeah, it's on fire. Stop touching yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!